What's up guys, it's Punchy, and today I finally bring you my build that I'll be taking into layer 2. The entire focus of this build is surviving the harsh environment and monsters being introduced in the second layer of the depth, so check it out. Speaking of layer 2, we just received a huge sneak peek from Agamatsu and the dev team revealing the changes to combat in the upcoming update. I've taken a look at this myself and summarized what was said in that video, so if you haven't checked it out, go watch that right now. Also, thank you for 24,000 subscribers, and if you like my videos, make sure to subscribe. Enjoy. My character is fully maxed out at level 60 with a bell as well. I was hoping to find an enchanted item that would fit well with this build but it's more than capable without an enchant. The stats for this build are fairly balanced with 1 strength, 20 fortitude, 20 agility, 40 intelligence, 40 willpower, 25 charisma, 80 flame charm, and 100 in medium weapons. I also picked the survivalist boon because who knows how dangerous the elements will be down in layer 2. Everything I have on this build has a specific use, so I'll get right into it. The first mantra I have is flame servants modified with a maximum amount of vibrant gems for maximum damage. I practically spam this move whenever I get low to heal up with a blow this gem. It's quite useful because it multi-hits enemies and pushes away unwanted company. It's one of my favorite mantras and honestly, it's the best thing you can get for PvE. The next mantra is Fire Palm with a huge radius that has the same purpose as Flame Servants. Hitting a target and healing up to full is all you're going to need in PvE because the burn effects don't do much against monsters. It's very good for sniping enemies and hitting monsters that are close to you. Fire Forge is only used to kite enemies and pull them towards you. Being able to aggro things at will is very important and it's very good to use if you want to play from a distance. That's all I use Fire Forge for. On to the next mantra. Surprisingly, I don't think Rising Flame is useful against NPCs and monsters, so I only use this to execute humanoid NPCs that are knocked. When you knock down a player or any type of human character, spinning with this move lights them easily and gets them out of your way. The next mantra I have is Flame Leap. Flame Leap is extremely important to get because movement seems to be a large focus of Layer 2. The capability of air dashes seem to be pretty deliberate for the insane architecture being shown off in Layer 2, so a vertical leap is highly coveted. Escape mobs and move quickly with this mantra. One of my support mantras is Graceful Flame. I wasn't able to pull the talent that allowed this card in the depths, but but it's something nice to help out with your homies and your own regen. A high level flame wisp with duration basically lasts an entire lifetime and heals you in bursts randomly. Whenever I'm low, I can run away and tass it, and flame wisp will still continue to heal me at a fast rate. It's the best tool I have for surviving. I believe that those are the best possible mantras I could have gotten on this Azure Flame build, except for Flame of Denial. Since I do have Azure Flame for the drip and regen, I decided my oath had to be Blind Seer. I don't really care for the mantras obtained through irritating Blind Seer progression, but I hope that there will be insanity to face in layer 2. I assume the idea will be fleshed out, so having a counter to that may be very important. As mentioned earlier, I do have Tesset. Tesset is overpowered for PvE interactions because you can go entirely invisible to all monsters. Let's just say I don't want to dodge a Lionfish laser. Press T, now he can't even aim on me, and I'm all good. I get low to a Sharko, Tesset up, and now I'm invisible. It's honestly so nice to have, and it pairs well with my Flame Wisp, which provides all the health I need. I think Tesset will be very strong in the early phases of Layer 2, where you can observe the environment and new monsters without being threatened. I know I'm being biased, but you have to pick this Murmur. But enough about hiding, let's talk about the damage I do to monsters. As explained in a previous video about my monster armor, I'm fitted with an entire outfit that allows me to do 60% more to any monster. This pairs well with any talents that increase damage like Overflowing Dam, Tough Love, and Giant Slayer. It's not the best if you want a lot of health, but that's why I like regen instead. To get more advantage, by just playing against monsters, I was able to get Mirage Clone and its exploding variant. Just dodging and playing like normal will kill monsters quicker and reward you for doing well. Honestly, I didn't know you could get both of these talents at 20 agility, but I'll take it. The final part of this build that makes it unique is the multiple resurrections that you can pop if you feel pressured. My bell is the resurrection bell that's both good for team fights and by yourself. If I see my friend getting low, I press C and now if he gets knocked it will heal him up instead. Of course if I'm low I can hold down C and do the same thing for myself. I also stack this with Phoenix Flames which allows me to get back up if I burn to death which I can trigger whenever I want. It's super awesome to pull this off and with Tasset I can stealth and regenerate all of my HP with either of these talents. Here's a look at my entire talent list. My weapon of choice is the Serpent's Edge for its fantastic damage against monsters and penetration. I was actually able to find a good one with a 3 star penetration, but I probably won't be able to find one with an enchant. Also the edge doesn't have a swinging trail, making it very odd to fight. It's one of my new favorite weapons. The armor I wanted to rock was the Black Diver for its damage resist, so I could wear gear that deals more damage to monsters. Of course, there was a lot of thought and calculations done in order to look so drippy, and if you're wondering, both my arm and leg armor are from the Iron Set. I'm very happy with how this build ended up looking. That's all there is to this PvE build, but it's very effective at helping out friends and shredding monsters. I'm sure you can make a build that one shots things, but I wanted to balance this one out with stealth and regen. After all, I don't really know how layer 2 will be, so anything could be viable. Anyway, if you enjoy my content, make sure to like and subscribe, and have a good one.